Hi everyone, Marian Emerson here. Um, so I've just been away for a few days to the beautiful county of Suffolk, had an amazing time. Um, I fell in love with a house out there actually, so I don't know if we're gonna move. Um, <laughs> that's another story. Um, and when I come back, I was answering all the comments that you guys had left on my previous videos. Um, Thank you for leaving comments, and I, and I do like to answer. There was one lady called Mary who asked a question about the batik um, oh, blah, blah, technique with embossing powders. And I was like, oh my gosh, I remember doing that years and years ago. Um, oh, but I couldn't remember quite how to do it. So I said to her this morning, like, look, Leave it with me if you're happy for me to just have a play today, but the video won't come out for a few weeks because I've got other ones lined up. Um, and she's like, yeah, great. So I'm literally just going to do it off the cuff. I've pulled out a few different things because I want to trial a couple of different things because I don't know if they're going to come out the same, different, whatever. And I'm trying desperately to remember how I do it. So you might have to bear with me. Um, so basically... Batik is, if this is if I can remember rightly, a technique back in, it's from Indonesia. I think it was um, first done in Java and it's where they do a wax resist and they used, well, they probably still do it, um, done it on cloth um, and then resisted with this wax and then the colour that was underneath, they can take off the wax and the colour was still there. Great. So um, I think it was Tanya Ahmed who first ever showed me this years ago um, with the WOW embossing powder. So look, the old brain isn't as good as it used to be, um, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I have got my WOW cardstock, my 250 GSM cardstock. I'm gonna do it with a stencil. I know um, years ago when I tried it, I'd, I'd done it with stamps, but I thought I'm gonna do it with a stencil. This is here because I might um, <laughs> just love it. The geometric background from A Pocket Full of Happiness. Haven't used it yet. Um, and I might make a card from it. So I I'm just going to put that there because that can remind me. Um, I've got myself an old book. Um, hopefully there's no naughty words in there. No reading. Um, because that will help absorb it, which you'll understand a little bit later. But I'm also going to try it just with copier paper. But what I want to try is I'm going to try it with the Catherine Paula dye-based inks. And then I want to try it with the Distress Oxides, which are sort of a bit of both, aren't they? They're a hybrid, but they're more opaque, whereas these will be more translucent. Colours are slightly different, so you're not going to get exactly the same effect. But I thought I'd give it a go. So, okay, brain, brain, come back into gear because from what I remember, I'm, I'm going to do it with, I'm going to do it with the Catherine Paula ones first. So let me just take, duh, 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 let's get all this out of the way so I've got myself some room. Right, there me oxide um, brushes. These are me Catherine Paula brushes. Right, okay, so... Oh, that one weren't. That was an old oxide. It's been washed since. Anyway, right. So let me, I'm going to start off. I'm just going to create a background of colour. So I might just whiz through this. Okay, so I used chiffon, mandarin spice and pucker up there. So let me just move those over get them out the way now if i remember rightly you really want things to dry because you are going to be putting embossing powder on now if all the if the embossing powder goes all over it i, I don't think it matters that much i don't know but i just don't know whether you'll see the pattern as much but let's just so i'm just giving this a little rub i don't really you know normally i'd put me talcum powder on there to stop it going into wherever the ink is um, wet still as such. Let's just give it a little, I can give it a zap. Okay, just cool that down. Now this stencil, I used it a little while ago, it's beautiful. Oh, I forgot I had that bit on there. 
um, the eu eucalyptus gum leaf stencil. So if I get this out, I'm not going to be fussy about it. I'm just going to put it on at an angle. I'm not going to stick it down everything. This is my, my brush that I keep just for my wow ink. So it's just loaded really with wow embossing ink. So I'm just going to go in, grab some, and again, just just randomly. Oh, I think I might have just moved it then. <laughs> and it goes all horribly wrong right from the beginning. I hope this is what you meant, Mary, anyway. <laughs> when you said it, this is what came to my head. So let me just see. Let's throw some, so I've got some Wow Clear Gloss. I'm using Super Fine, not for any particular reason other than that's what was sort of on my desk and I was just being lazy to not go and get some more. Okay, let's just give that a good flick. I mean, there's a little bit gone in places where the ink wasn't because that's gone on the, uh, where the Wow ink wasn't. You can just see it round there. I can give it a flick, but... And do you know what? I think this is where, like, the techniques like Joseph's coat came from and all them sort of ones. Okay, so let me pop my lid on. And I'm not going to be fussy about... Normally, I heat from underneath to get it all perfect. But I'm not going to be doing that this time. I'm just going to go from the top. Okay, so if I show... Even that looks beautiful. Yeah, can you see that? So what I'm thinking... I'm trying to, I'm trying to sort of think about it. But as I'm thinking about it, my brain's going off somewhere else now. And now I'm wondering... Hmm... No, I'm just I'm just going to use these two colours now. Eucalypt. I was just thinking, well, should I go over with one whole colour, then do it again, then I'll get a bit of that through, and then a bit of that. Do you know what? Just try it, Marion. Just try it. Right. Skylight. Make sure this is cool enough. I'm going to go direct to the paper this time because it comes out stronger the colour than if you use a blend. Look at just look at that anyway. Isn't that beautiful? This is definitely where Joseph's coat came from. It must have been. It must have been. So let's just give that a, a little swipey swipey. Okay. I'm gonna grab my cloth and get rid of it on top of this bit. So my cunning plan now because I would have just gone those two over the top and then another layer. But I'm going to try three layers. It might be the worst thing I ever do. But let's try. Let's get rid of that on there. Now, this is where I think, because I'm going to say this ink isn't dry yet. Not by any means. But uh, it's going to sort of... It, it basically, it's encapsulating the colour, isn't it? That's what it's doing. I like that word. You know, it's a Monday morning. I've, I've literally, I mean, look, Monday the 21st, this is. So this is proof that I'm, I came back last night, read my comments and answered them this morning. And I've just gone straight into it. So I'm not sure, as I say, when this video is actually going to come out. But, right. I just want to make sure this isn't in the same place. So let me just start getting some ink on there. Just rub it quite firmly. It's a lovely stencil, this. It's quite, um, it's quite robust. Okay, let's just do a little bit there. And then this is probably where the whole thing is going to get covered in embossing powder now. So you can just start off on one end and then just lift and flick it down. 
yeah it is sort of you can flick really hard really firmly because we want to get lots of that off i can still see lots on there do you know what if we don't try we don't know i might sort of ruin the third one now <clears throat> okay i'm just going to give that an extra flick hang on okay so Give you a close up on that. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. Cool it down a bit. And then I'm going to do the same. And what I should get, <laughs> I should still get my colours that were originally underneath. Then that, this bit here had the skylight on it. So now if I go over with eucalyptus, <sighs> call it, call it. Oh, it looks like a jungle. This, oh, just, this looks like something from paradise. Look at the colours. Okay, so, if I now rub off this, I don't think I have to do another layer of um, powder because... I'm not encapsulating the green now because that's just sitting on top. But look, isn't that lovely? So I'm still seeing, I should have done this skylight on top. You live and learn. But look at that. Just beautiful. Oh, I'm trying to think ideas now, what to do with it. Right, okay. Before you think of ideas, Marion, just get this lot out the way. And then I'm going to do it again. Right, this time I have got some oxides in front of me. Oh, right, let's move you out of the way. Let's go, let's grab a piece of card. By the way, I've got an iron on in the background. So that's sitting there heating up nicely. So just a little travel iron. So let's go... Let's go similar to what I did with the first one. So actually, yeah, okay, if I go these colours, right. So I am gonna go, what have I got here? Mm. That'll do for me. Me picked raspberry. We had a nice little conversation, me and a couple of the ladies on the past comments. We all thought it was pickled raspberry. <laughs> I still think pickled raspberry sounds so much better. It just rolls off the tongue easier. Pickled raspberry. See, now look, because oxides, are a, um, they've got a lot more pigment in them, haven't they? So it's like, I don't know whether that you're, you're still going to see through the layers as such. Bit of ripe persimmon. Let's go there. There. The only thing is with this as well, because it's an oxide, it's going to stay wetter longer. So I'm sort of feeling, should I dry it properly in between? Or should I just do it how I've done this last one? Let me just do it how I've done the last one. And we'll see. And then the thing is, why, why I wanted to show you with two different things is because some of you might not have oxides. Some of you might only have dye-based inks. They don't have to be Catherine Paula. They can be any dye-based ink. Some of you might only have oxides and not dye-based ink. So, do you know what I mean? So, it's just nice to show it a few ways. I'm going to give it a quick little zap. Okay. Just call it. Give it a little rub. Okay, let's go in. <clears throat> Once again, excuse me. Little cough, little tickle there. Actually, this is a shout out now 
I know it's not going to affect hardly any of you because I know a lot of my viewers are from the States. But if anyone lives in Suffolk and knows of a village called Newton Green, let me know what you think of it, please. <laughs> there might be someone out there. You never know. You never know. Um, but anyway, yeah. Newton Green in Suffolk, near Sudbury. I think it was three miles outside of Sudbury. Anyway, onwards and upwards. So let's just get lots and lots of ink on here. Again, I'm not being too precious about it. If it goes a little bit under, it goes a little bit under. That's fine. Where's my doodah? There. Oh, see, look, I went a little bit heavy on there. That means I've got a lot of ink on my brush already. You might not be able to see that on camera. Okay. So pretty. And... And again, because that wasn't quite dry, it has held on to some of it. I'm going to heat it from underneath just so that you can see it. And if I said Newton's Green about the Suffolk village, it's Newton Green. I keep saying Newton's for some reason. Okay, let me just, I just want to clear a little bit. Getting covered here. Right, so yeah, I did go a bit heavy with me ink there. Right, so let's do a similar thing. Now, I think I'll go, shall I go speckled egg? No, I'll go selfish patina. Um, you can't always, well, you can, she tells a lie. <laughs> I'm saying you can't go direct to paper with this. And it went direct on the paper. So, okay. That has got lots on. Now, do I need to let it soak in a little bit? Not really. Okay, let's just wipe off. So we've got a nice background with the salvage potato. Oh, even, do you know what? Even that just looks stunning. I hope I'm doing this right. Not I've not finished, by the way. Like that is not finished, that first one. But I'm just doing two in one go sort of thing. Okay, so now I need to put my thing over again. So I'm really sorry if this is boring at this point. I will fast forward. Now this one, you can see that it's gone everywhere. But I couldn't dry it with the heat tool. I couldn't dry the ink. So, and I could have just let it dry naturally, but I didn't. So we'll see how this works out. I'm going to give it another flick. Okay, let's not get rid of all of it, obviously. Cool that down. So where it went in other places, that's causing a resist as well. I mean... One thing I love about this is how shiny and lovely it is. But with Batik, it wasn't about shiny. Because it was going on fabric, you wanted to get it back to being matte. And that's what we're going to do in just a minute. So I am just now going to go in with crushed olive. And just give that a top coat. And let's just see what that covers. This stencil is absolutely beautiful. Love, love, love it. Right, get a clean bit. This, I think this needs to go in the wash soon. And then let's just get that up. Oh, that's not, oh yeah, no. Do you know what? And, and this is why I done this, because I wasn't sure because of it um, being, not, it's not translucent, is it, the oxides? Whereas the dye-based ones are translucent. Oxides are more opaque. I didn't think it was going to work, but it pretty much has. So let me just show you. You can still, you can see a difference. Obviously, they're slightly different colours. But look at that. 
Okay, right, next step. Hang in there, guys, hang in there. <laughs> I'm gonna get that away. I'm gonna bring in my old book, but I've got a feeling, right, if I, that I use this for cutting out flowers and things like that and inkings and, I'm wondering, right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron it. And you use a book page usually to um, lift off the, basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna heat off the super, uh, super gloss, duh, clear gloss super fine, right? But I'm thinking if I was to put another card on it, I don't know whether this would work. Do you know what? If you don't try, you don't know. So let me just stick that there. Pop a page over. This is on the hottest setting, this iron. And I'm just gonna heat through. This might not work, but if it doesn't, then I'll just do another, I'll just do it again elsewhere. It was just a little, it was just, you know, you get little flashbacks coming to you. I was thinking, oh, I can't remember if we... Oh, we didn't do that. I know that. If we done that or not. No, that might have been a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just try that. I'm going directly, directly, directly on the card now. And Oh, that's hot. Careful. <laughs> Don't don't burn yourself like I just did. Oh, I might have just ruined this. I have. I've ruined it. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes, Marion. You and your brain. Okay, so look, learn from me, guys. Don't... Oh, that's still hot. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Look. E... Okay, that's interesting. It looks awful, but it's interesting. It's it's just taken off that top that top layer, hasn't it? Of the crushed olive. Makes an interesting background, mind you. Right, let me show you where it was meant to be done. <laughs> Properly. Right, let's put it through. So put it like that. Bit of paper. And I think. We use book paper because it is, I might have said this earlier, quite absorbent. Um, but I will try it with the copier paper. Because not everyone's got an old book that they want to ruin. As such. Oh, look, see, look, so now the wax is going on to, it's not wax. <laughs> the embossing powder is going on to here. And this is coming out nice and matte. So I can just keep going through and just taking more off each time. I'm just gonna take more off. And that one there that all went wrong has just given me an idea actually. See, look at that. There's a tiny little bit on there still. I say wax because it does look like wax, but isn't that lovely? But I'm now thinking, if I take this off, I'm going to try this. Um, let me do it on that. Because I'd already used that other side. Otherwise, I'll be putting more powder still on there. Oh, dear. I'm reading a bit of this now. <laughs> as I'm doing it. <laughs> In Santa Monica, I exited on 4th Street and then took Pico down to the beach. Oh, who's Pico? <laughs> I never did read this. <laughs> oh, do you know, I, I really like that as a background. I would never in a million years be able to recreate that or replicate that. But it, look, at, look at all these little bits. Isn't it lovely? really really like that yeah okay right let me do the same with this one so this is how you're meant to do it like when you start off so you put it oh no i'm gonna try this with paper and i let me try this this is just normal copier paper so just put it on there fold it over 
you know, I've got powder everywhere, embossing powder. I'll just end up redoing it again. Oh, oh, look. Oh, so I wonder if you've done it on a vellum. I wonder if that... No, because it's just going to be the, um, the embossing powder coming off, isn't it? But look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? But you don't see anything there. <laughs> Basically, it's just the colours showing through, wasn't it? Now, I'd say that needs more. So I'm going to put the other side on now. But, you know, this has just given me another idea. I've got to stop having ideas. And that look, I mean, you could probably lay it down like that and just iron it that way. Just be careful, though, guys, because the iron is hot, obviously. And, Marion, you should be using something. Yeah, use your tweezers or something to hold it down. Look, I'm just going to get rid of that in a minute. So that was my first one. Still hot. <laughs> So that's with the dye inks, which I know are different colours to what I've used there. These are more vibrant colours anyway, these oxide ones. But it does look great, doesn't it? It really does. So Mary, I think I cracked it. I think I've remembered how it was done. So that's gone all lovely and like matte looking now. Okay, so because I've just got something else in my head... I'm just going to give another thing a go, right? Just while I was doing that, I thought to myself, oh, I wonder. Now, hmm, I am just going to go in and just quickly make a background. Du -du -du. Nothing fancy. Sorry, because I've gone off piste again now. I do this too much, far too much. Have I not got a, um, a blue? I shouldn't use that one, should I? Oh, look, I've got a clean one here. Do I want to add in another colour? Do you know what? I will, I will. But I'm going to leave that as is. I wonder, if I was to go like this now, would that dry the ink out? Would that help? Help dry it. Not a lot's come. A little bit's come off. You can see it has gone a little bit sort of drier looking. You can't test with that finger, it's covered. Right, I just need to get some ink, hang on. Okay, so what I was thinking, when I had this in the book, I think it was when I was doing it in the book, whatever, um, I probably should get rid of these pages because they're going to like remelt maybe but i was thinking so i already had my melted embossing powder on there so then i thought to myself if i put this is clear gloss ultra high yeah so it's a much thicker granule but if i was to do this with it and sprinkle it i'm just thinking about creating a background if i done that i'll only do a little bit and just see if it works and then bring this over. I could use baking paper probably, how I do it on the other things. But this should melt the embossing powder. Oh, I can feel it all crunchy underneath me. And then it's getting smooth. So it is melting it. But is it gonna go in and create that resist? Okay, we're getting somewhere. There's, let me just bring it up so you can see those little bits. Now, if I was, because this is melted in, not melted on. Does that make sense? If I went in, hmm, I don't know whether I need more. I'm not sure. I'm going to go, let me go in with me picked raspberry. I'm gonna. Oh yes, 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 yes! Look at that! 
Love, love, love. Oh my goodness. Honestly, what a beautiful, I need to do this just as a background video now. <laughs> that is just gorgeous. Let's have a bit of, a bit of the right persimmon. Just go over here. Oh, look. Because I want to do it again. Oh, this is just pretty. Oh, do you know what? Oh, my goodness. If you'd done it in blue. Oh, in blues and that, it would look like a night sky, wouldn't it? Blues, navies. Start off with your light turquoise. Oh, I'm going to need to do that. I might do it and just fast forward it. So you can just see me do it and see what it comes. It might come out horrible. <laughs> but I'm going to put a little bit more on. Might come out lovely. Ah, oh, do you know what I need to do? I think, I think, I think, I think. I need to get a new page. Because again, that's got that on there. Right, I'm just going to flip this over here. And then bring this back in. That's lovely. Let's just call it down. Look, look, look. How gorgeous is that? Honestly. It's even got my fingerprints in it. <laughs> I just saw that. That could be damaging. <laughs> But look at that, isn't it beautiful? Right, I'm really sorry to bore you, cause, but I, I will whiz through it really quickly. I'm just going to grab some colours um, to make like a, a night scene. I'm wondering if a little tiny, tiny bit of white. I don't know. Don't push it, Marion. Don't push it. Right. Okay, so found some more brushes. I've also picked up some Opaque Bright White Ultra High. Everybody should have this because it is my most favourite one. Even out of all the colours, this is the best powder ever. So I am going to go, I've only got, I've just realised now that I haven't got lots of blues. I thought I had a really dark blue, but I haven't. So I'm going to go Speckled Eggs, Salvage Patina, Mermaid Lagoon and Uncharted Mariner. And I'm going to get darker as I go along. So let me grab a piece and I am going to pick up, where's my lightest one? Let's pick up some of this. So this was speckled egg. Right, with this, I'm going to leave a bit of white card showing through as well. Don't ask me why, I'm just, it's just something going on in my head. Um, I might just whack another little bit of speckled egg on there as well. Just make that a bit stronger. Because it's gorgeous. Okay. I haven't left much white, but there you go. Um, right. So, I have got my clear gloss ultra high. So, I'm just sprinkling it on. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Just random. Not too much. Don't overdo it. Says me when I haven't even really got a clue what I'm doing. Um, but bring this over. Grab your iron and press. And you'll feel it as you go down. I can feel it sort of crunchy. It's lumpy. And then all of a sudden... It goes smooth, and that's obviously where you've melted it. Good job my lid was on that, because I just knocked it over. Okay. And you can see it start coming through to the other side. So just get lots on there. And it really don't look a lot. If I hold it up to the camera, it don't look much at this point. It's when you put that next colour on, isn't it? So, I'm going to go Mermaid Lagoon. This one might look like it's got measles. <laughs> Is it cool enough? Oh, 
Oh, wow. See where I've obviously put more on on this one. Look at that. Oh, I feel like this should have had a video just on its own. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Talk about a bonus card at the end. Wow. Oh, that is just stunning. I know you could get this effect with water, couldn't you? Look. Isn't that gorgeous? <sighs> okay. Put that there. Give it a little rub. A little rub. And then, so now this is where I'm going to do a bit more of this and then I want to do oh do I want to do it on top no do you know what as long as you're bearing with me I'm going to do it on this one so it's a bit more of the um, clear gloss ultra high then I'm going to go in with the uncharted mariner and then I'm going to go in with the opaque bright white. So little, little bits. Is that done? Make sure it's nice and smooth. If it's nice and smooth, then you know you've melted it all. Look at that. Right, cool it down. Because it does get very hot. I mean, I've put it on a really high temperature, the iron. Whether it needs to be that high, I don't know. But it's working, so let's stick with it. Right, this is Uncharted Mariner. So let's just... Oh, look. Oh, it just looks so beautiful, doesn't it? And it's bringing all those other colours from underneath. I wonder if I could go direct. Let's go direct and see what we get there. I hope that's going to come off. <laughs> I'm ruined in now. Oh dear. Marion, what you done? What you done? What you done? Okay. Oh, phew. I thought I'd covered it completely. <laughs> I'd ruined it. Okay. Oh, look. See, even this, just doing the reveal. Just move your cloth about so you're not wiping it with the same bit of colour. What a great masculine card. See, there's still loads on there. You think, you think you've got it all off and you haven't. Right, I just want to try this bit. I'm just going to put this back. Although I'm not seeing much of, well, I sort of am, my salvaged patina. It is lightly under there in places. Maybe it's not as batiki as I wanted it to be. But, whatever, I love it. Okay, let's just put this under here. And I just want tiny little bits. I don't want loads really less is more i'm thinking again this is just a test so right step away marion step away okay because these are going to get slightly bigger as you squish them down so i hope i don't ruin it just Okay. Okay, it looks like it's got a disease now. <laughs> oh, do you know what that? Mm. I reckon. 
I think now, if I put a bit of silver ultra high, bear with. I'm going to put a tiny bit of silver. Just see what that does. Do you know what? If I've ruined it, I'm just going to die cut it out. Oh, I've probably put a bit too much on there. Okay. Oh, look, I've done it where I've done it with the white. That might be a mistake as well. Oh, well. So I'm now wondering, <laughs> thinking something else now. I'm thinking because these are more opaque, if I started with the darker colour first and then built up to the light, yeah, that's not, well, I don't know. Do you know what? It don't look that bad. It don't look as good as I thought it was going to be. It don't look as good. No, it doesn't look as good as I thought it would be. Speak English, Marion. But there, there's something about it I like. There really is. Yeah. Okay, look. I am going to... Well, I'm going to turn my iron off first. Make sure you turn your irons off. Goodness me. Is that off? That's off. Okay. So. I think we uh, we cracked it, Mary. I really do. Look, look at that. See, see that looks more better than, well, I don't know, actually for a masculine card, I think it works. Right, I'm gonna do something, I'm not sure what. I feel like, do you know, I wanted to use this, didn't I? This um, geometric background now. This is a different card size to to this one that would be because this is done for an american card size this isn't even an english card size because i've cut it down it's a panel but i could cut that out of it i'm gonna do that right so let me come up with some things and as i do them i'll just whiz through them and you can just see the process but in a a quick state And um, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I hope you bared with me through that. I sped through some of it. I cut some of it out because it was just going to be boring. Um, basically, I actually just like that left white. There was no point putting the white back in. I started to and then I thought, what's the point? I could have embossed a panel, cut it out and then put the embossed bats, bit, bats, bits back in, but I didn't. Um, I love having cards like this because they're there ready to go. That one I just think looks amazing. I messed up a little bit here, so I'm gonna to have to get my eraser out on that. Got to find it first. This, just simple, cut it down, cut a little bit off. So cut a bit out the middle, basically. If you're not sure if you're gonna get it exactly right, just cut it like that and then take a little bit off top and bottom. 
and then you're going to get the same sort of thing so it's like stretching it out that one and then I didn't want to put thanks a million all in one go there so I've just put thanks a million thinking about it stupid as I am I should have just put thanks and then a million hey ho we make mistakes but I put that one on top of that um you know the extra bit that I add can't remember what I <laughs> don't know um but yeah and I, I think that just makes it pop nicely and then the same here I've just put that down and then yeah and that, that, that's it isn't it I'm like <laughs> so so Mary thank you so so much for bringing back this old technique that I'd completely forgotten about um and then let me experiment with something else i.e this one i just love it oh what, what did i do with my blue bit i ain't done nothing with my blue bit <laughs> i don't even know where it is what did i do with that what on earth oh is that here hang on yeah sorry <laughs> i was sticking it down and i had something heavy on it so same thing there and then i can just I, I think this would work perfect for a guy card as well or anyone's card it's, it's just lovely but seeing all these little bits come through this would have been perfect for coronavirus <laughs> get well soon because <laughs> it just looks like it's got a little virus but yeah so what did we get one two three four five six cards wow Okay, I will photograph them all. Um, thank you again, Mary. Anyone else that thinks of things, just throw them my way. I'll always give something a go. Um, I'm not scared of making mistakes because, you know what, I'm human. Like you, we all make mistakes. Um, so, yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'd love it if you subscribed, if you haven't already. Um, if you have, thank you um i'm getting there i'm getting close to me twenty thousand. so i'm like oh my goodness i might even have reached it by the time this goes out but if i haven't then that's going to be really sad um <laughs> but thanks ever so much again guys um and i'll see you soon take care bye